We're excited for the opportunity, looking forward to a, a great game. We're excited about where the team is right now, and a lot of these guys are itching and getting ready to play. They respect App State, the, the history of the program. There's been a much greater emphasis on the competition. So if a guy's a two here and a one here, who's going to beat who out by what they do in practice to earn that job? I think the big thing for us is how many guys can we play and be effective? How deep can we go? We're going through our checklist. We're, we're executing everything we've done in the past to make sure that we've got every situation that could come up covered. But as you well know, sometimes the, un the unexpected can happen. So the biggest thing for us is being prepared for that. It's here. It's time. It's game week. Let's do it. We gonna attack the day. Kirby Smart, all access. Sample steady for the first game. Try to play set the Notre Dame. Dog Nation got the crowd going, playing Tennessee for the fifth game. We gonna attack the day. Between the hedges where we play. They, they, they about to come to the state, but Mississippi sitting right in our way. They got the rankings in order. Jacksonville, Georgia, Florida. Then we go back to the state. Drive two hours away. All the Tigers who we play, then we go back to the old fashioned hate. Georgia Tech is who we play, then we go back to the old Georgia way. We gon' attack the day. Kirby Smart All Access. <laughs> Kirby Smart All Access is presented by Georgia's Own. Georgia's Own Credit Union. It's your future, own it. Also brought to you by ATT. This segment of Kirby Smart All Access is brought to you by Nissan. Proud supporter of college athletics. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Take on today. How you doing? What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. So, man, uh, tell me about like what your aspirations are in, uh, in music. You know, middle school, everybody used to rap. And then one day, uh, one, of my, one of my classmates had a studio at his house, and we went to his house, and I, I seen it. And I seen how he was just kind of like, you know, recording us and I thought it was pretty cool. To this day I really can't explain to people how I've learned how to mix, um, learning how to really listen to sounds. It kind of was just a natural feel for me. Even now I still have so much to grow from just how my music is sounding. Um, now when I listen to my old music I don't even want to listen to it because it's like ah. I first got into music in middle school um, and what drove me is just the I mean, just the, just the, just the sounds that, that, that music brings, some of the, the enjoyment, the, the feeling that it brings, uh, it, it made me more passionate about it. Focus is kind of on football right now, and it's, I, I feel like, me personally, I feel like it's hard to focus on two things because one can be a distraction from another. Music is that niche for me to get away from football, just to have fun and enjoy myself, have time to myself to be creative. My roommates would come in and they'll see me and be like, how do you learn this? Like, there's no way I can explain it. No way so you I can learn it by doing it. it. You did. That's what you did. You did it. That's it. Do it. Did it so yeah. well. One thing I try to do with my music is bring out only positivity. That's dope. Like, That's great. No cussing. But people just like, it still got that. Yeah. That, that street sound to it, but there's no cussing, there's no negativity, everything just positive. Right, right, right. So I, that's how I try to keep it. So when people listen to it, I hope the feedback I get is, I like the way how you just you kept it straight, you didn't try to make it to something, it's not. I met plenty of people um, that, that do music, that work more on the, you know, the back end, the people that's probably on the producing side, you know, just to teach me some of the little things that I may not know and things people may not see that may help me enhance my music skills. I mean, it's awesome knowing that you get to go in the studio. It's a different environment, um, being around professionals and doing things a professional way. And, and it's awesome just to go in there and make music. What are the expectations for Georgia in 2017? You've got Nick Chubb and Sonny Michelle coming back in the backfield. What does Georgia do in terms of progressing under Coach Smart? Are we ready? 
Hey, Sony, you ready to do this? Let's do it. We gonna attack the day. We gonna attack the day. Kirby Smart, all access. Sam for standing for the first game. Try to play at the Notre Dame. Dog Nation got the crowd going, playing Tennessee for the fifth game. We gonna attack the day. Between the hedges where we play. They, they, they about to come to the state, but Mississippi sitting right in our way. They got the rankings in order. Jacksonville, Georgia, Florida. Then we go back to the state. Drive two hours away. All the Tigers who we play. Then we go back to the old fashioned hate. Georgia Tech is who we play. Then we go back to the old Georgia way. We gonna attack the day. We, we, we gonna attack the day. We gonna attack the day. Kirby Smart, all access. <laughs> you gotta commit to the G. Be the best at SEC. Defense, you ready for war. Offense, you ready to score. Coach Tuck calling plays. Coach Cheney throwing fades. We gonna be running the ball. Coach and Claire got us lifting the weights. All season, but we grind. Can't forget about the line. They go so hard in the trenches. SEC, it's our time. We play the best of the best. We got the G on our chest. We gonna be representing Dog Nation. Top four, nothing less. We gonna attack the day. We, we, we gonna attack the day. We gonna attack the day. Kirby Smart All Access. I mean, till this day, from middle school to now that I'm in college, I still have a lot, lots to learn about the music industry. And I mean, it, it's difficult, but at the same time, it's fun. It's a nice challenge to take up on, and I enjoy it. This segment of Kirby Smart All Access is brought to you by Hyundai, proud supporter of college football and loyal fans everywhere. Thanks for coming out, guys. We're really excited. Um, got started kind of on Friday. We're excited for the opportunity. Looking forward to a, a great game. We need all the fans to come out for the 4 o'clock uh, dog walk. We certainly need everybody there and need a lot of crowd noise. We're excited about where the team is right now, and a lot of these guys are itching, getting ready to play. And good news is we still got, you know, four or five practices to uh, clean some things up. So I know the players are excited. They respect App State, the, the history of the program. The teams they played last year, they played really well, and uh, they do a tremendous job. Kirby, I know, uh, you know it was 10 years ago when App State beat Michigan. What, what kind of mark did it leave on college football? Did it change things about it? When, when a team that was an FCS opponent you know, came in and, and defeated a, one of the historical programs of college football. It gave them great exposure. Um, and a lot of great players in that game for App State, just like this team here has. They've got some really talented guys that are fast. And um, you know, th those, those guys, this is an opportunity of a lifetime for them. You have to understand their want and desire can't be more than your want and desire. And that's, that's really what this game comes down to is who can get off a block and who can block. And they do those things well. Can you just talk, I know you've touched on it a couple of times during camp, and especially when he was absent, but just uh, the value of Isaiah Wynn, especially yeah. in a position group that where you've got a lot of new starters coming into a season like this. Biggest thing is leadership. You know, he's the one guy that's not afraid to demand and confront guys on the offensive line. If things aren't going well, he'll confront them. He practices really hard. He's extremely physical. Um, you know, the time we didn't have him, it was frustrating. Uh, but he has been back, and he's been a great leader. You know, he's the, he's the kind of the bell cow of that group. And we certainly expect him to play that way, and uh, he's done it in his career here. He's always played really with, with the kind of physical toughness you need to play with. He's always done that. Coach Smart mentioned you being a pretty vocal leader down there in the trenches. What does that say about you as a player and as a leader? It's, it's become kind of the, the norm around here just to, to be able to be the type of leader to call anybody out um, despite what they may be doing on the field just because you want to be able to help them um, help the team contribute to the wins this season. way you can be a great football player is you got to be confident. Uh, he's a good coach, great coach. Huh? He tells us to keep our minds right, even during the bad plays. 
we just move forward. We come and watch film, and just it's no, it's not a bad vibe when you come in and talking to him. Uh, he's a great coach, and I, I love to learn from him. There it is. Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Pittman's coaching style, I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, one like no other. Um, it's a unique way, but I, I'll tell you what, it gets the job done. He always uh, brings out the best in us. Come on, every play, every play, every play. Hey, nice, nice. Wow. Pat, it's on set, go. How hard is it? Go shoot bad man, 51. There it is. Good pride. Good pride, 65. <laughs> Uh, me and Lamont took a lot of reps last year in practice, and and, uh, and uh, I've gotten I've gotten used to him now. You know, from spring camp and, and obviously fall camp. Uh, he's a great guy. He, he knows how to you know spot a mic and then you know get the down and down in front. And uh, he's he's real good at uh, communicating with me when you know in certain situations. And that's what I like about Lamont. He's also a bigger guy and a, a strong center. It, it's been a long time, but we came a long way from, from the start of the season to now, getting to know each other better, getting to talk to each other more. Uh, he's a good dude, and I, I love him. He's my quarterback. This segment of Kirby Smart All Access is brought to you by AT&T. Coach, one of the things that comes out of this camp that I can't help but think about in a positive manner for Georgia is that you seem to feel like you've got far more players that you can put on that field now with great confidence than you did a year ago. Well, we got a little more depth. A lot of them are young. A lot of our two deep are new players, so this is their first game. To be honest with you, we feel like we got more of them. We got to see how they play. They got to play in the moment. A sold out crowd welcome the Bulldogs back between the hedges for game one. This is the beginning of the season that these seniors came back to. Shotgun fires to the right where the pass is caught. Eason now inside the five. Now he runs to the right. He's in the end zone to the five, running far side. He'll keep it and run out of bounds at the 10 yard line. Now Boy, we got a break too. Hit him late. Hit late him way hit out, out of bounds. bounds. And he's limping and looks like he may have to go to the turf. Personal foul, late hit, number 92 on the defense. With Eason out of the game with a left knee injury, Jake Fromm gets his first collegiate playing time. Oh, 
Brown will throw it right. It's caught. Miko Hardman. And off Sony Michelle breaks to the near side. Four lob pass caught by Nauta. Reaches high and brings it down. Hand off Chubb. He darts to the left. He pushes his way in, and let's see, yeah, touchdown. Long strike for the first time in 2017, and you got to be impressed with number 11 right now. Hand off Michelle, bounces out left, 25-30, 35-40. Michelle, middle of the field, 50, 45-40. Snap to Fromm. He's got time. He stands in the pocket. He's going deep for the end zone. It's caught by Wims. He jumped up in the air, caught it at the three. Dove and tried to get the ball over the goal line. Did he? He did. He did. Dog. Direct snap to Sony. He fights his way. Pads clacking. He runs into the end zone. They signal touchdown. Back in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Fires to the left. It's caught by the tight end Blazevich in traffic. Double tight end set here. Hand off to Chubb. He breaks one tackle at the 15. 23 yard attempt by Rodrigo Blankenship. And the kick is good. Dogs lead it 24 to nothing. And into the end zone, touchdown. Nice little crease created by that offensive line and then Chubb explodes through the hole and once you get one-on-one -on -one with him, you're not gonna bring him down. Good sign there for the boys in red. Kirby Smart All Access is presented by Georgia's Own. Georgia's Own Credit Union. It's your future, own it. Also brought to you by AT&T. I want to reiterate something he said. I couldn't be prouder of the toughness, the effort. I mean, on offense in the second half to come out that first drive. You know, we stopped them on D, but I'm talking about it was like road grade city. Felt like team run again. I'm talking about pads low, running down the throat, 10 yards, 12 yards, 14 yards, 10 yards, 12 yards, running it down the throat. Now, there's some things we can clean up. I was proud of the way the players came out and fought. We knew that was uh, going to be a good football team, a really good defensive football team. Okay, they, they are physical players, they are fast, and they don't miss tackles. Um, but hats off to our guys. Um, had a little adversity in the midst of the game, and they responded well. You know, it was, nobody panicked. Um, guys went out and played hard. But I feel good just going. I wasn't going through emotions. You know, I wasn't trying to like be down. I was always trying to be up. We said we got to set the tone, you know, defense win championship. You know, every day we try to play like a championship. A well played game. I mean, it wasn't our best game, but that's, that, that's okay because it gave us room for building. And I think, you know, you know, one never peaked too early in the season. Uh, it always shows our flaws, and I think that's what's, what's going to help us get back to the film and work on that. That was a great team we played at App State, you know, those guys did a great job coming out, but I think we um we had to keep just topping that and keep pounding. Eventually things opened up for us. I think offensively, you know, we had a little diversity at first, but you know, we kept we kept pushing. The competition is, is really healthy, not just for me but for everyone on this team. You know, there's there's great athletes at every position and it's only gonna make us better and you know, help us improve going forward. I saw a bunch of guys who were way more mature, you know, way more physical and definitely you know very tough. You know, those guys never gave up, you know. At the beginning of the, the first quarter, things weren't looking very good, but they continued to push and open things up. Coach, things never seem to go quite the way, you know, you might think of them and you, you know, plan them out. And certainly that was the way this went when you lost Jacob Eason early in the game. Yeah. And I'm sure you had to adjust on the fly, but, but boy, it sure did look good. Yeah, there was not a lot of adjustment. I mean, Jacob and Jake have some similarities as far as leadership and good qualities. We we felt like Jake Fromm's a good player, and um, we're excited about what he can do for the offense. Obviously, Jacob, uh, we don't know how long he's going to be out, but I thought the kid managed the game well. He made some good decisions. He made some bad decisions, and some of the bad decisions paid off. So we, we got to go from here and uh, keep working to get him better. But I'm so proud of where we are, guys. But now, now, we get to go to a historic place <coughs> a special place, and we go play a good football team. we got a great opportunity ahead of us, but we need every one of you in this room to do it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.